Well, well, well. Look what we have here. We got Ugreen's brand new Power Roam 600 portable power station. Stay tuned. Let's dive in and test this thing out. This unit has a 600 watt inverter with the 1500 watt surge called U-Turbo. The battery is 680 watt hours and is Life Pro 4 rated at 3000 life cycles at 80%. It also has a built-in UPS. On the front, you'll see that this unit has two USB-C 100 watt ports, two USB-A 22 watt ports, two barrel connectors and a cigarette plug at 120 watts max. To turn it on, just press the DC button. Right here, you'll see that this unit has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Just press it once and you'll see the indication lights turn on the screen. That means it's ready to connect. The fan indicator also turned on, letting you know the fan's working. To turn off the Wi-Fi, hold it down. This unit also has a built-in flashlight with four modes. We got low, high, pulse, and strobe. Now the fan is still on. It is very low, but you can definitely feel it blowing. On the right side, we have the AC enable button. Just press it once to turn it on. And you have five AC outlets, two two prong and three three prong, 600 watt max. On the top, you'll see that there is no wireless charging, but there is a nice handle. On the left side of the unit, we have the overcharge protection breaker, the AC in, the solar XT60 200 watts, and the protection earth, along with this closing lid. Before we move on to the testing, let's see what the unit comes with. We got the cigarette to XT60 plug. This is convenient if you want to charge the unit from your car. We got the power cable so you can charge the unit from home. Looks like we got a barrel connector to barrel connector. This will come in handy. If you're charging like another unit. Interesting. Okay, here's the solar cable. XT60 female to a XT60 male male. And anything else? Five year warranty card. So right here I'm testing my laptop and my cell phone using the USB-C 100 watt port and the USB-A 22 watt port. Both devices together are pulling around 40 to 50 watts. Right here I'm testing the AC outlets and I'm using my coffee maker that usually pulls 1300 watts and this unit has no issues powering the coffee maker at all. I want to test the pass-through charging on this unit. So I have the solar panel plopped on the ground, bringing in some solar, and I left the leaf blower turned on. And you can see we're pulling in about 110 watts and I'm using 360. For this next test, I have a portable heater right here. We're gonna turn it on and you're gonna see that the unit is drawing well over 600 watts of power because of that U-Turbo technology. And we're gonna leave this heater on for about five minutes. We're gonna come back and check and see if we have any issues. So it's been five minutes and this unit has drawn 9% power and we've had no issues. I'm using my air fryer to test the battery efficiency on this unit. This air fryer usually draws well over 1500 watts of power. Right now it's drawing 624 on this unit. We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, it's been seven minutes and this unit has drawn 112 watt hours. All right, an hour later, the unit died and I was able to get 85% efficiency out of this unit and it used 578 kilowatt hours. The next test, I'm going to charge the unit on AC power. Ugreen says that this unit will charge from 0 to 80% in 50 minutes. 
right now I'm bringing in 606 watts and it says the unit will be full in 1.2 hours. So let's leave it. We'll come back in around 50 minutes and we'll see where we're at. The battery indicates 77% at 46 minutes in. So I can see us hitting that 80% mark in another four minutes. The battery also indicates 27 more minutes to full. All right guys, an hour and 25 minutes later, we are at full, which is great. This thing charges really, really fast at 600 watts in. I'm very, very pleased with. Right now we're on quiet mode, 54 decibels. Let's switch it to standard. We're bringing in 130 watts. Now we're on normal mode, 600 watts in. And it's 54 decibels, no difference. If you guys are interested in the Power Roam portable power station or this solar panel, I'll have the link in the description below. They sell it on Amazon or ugreen.com. I don't have any affiliate links. It's just maybe easier for reference. So yeah, it'll be in there. You guys can check it out, see what it's all about. Right here, I'm testing out the DC input, the solar input to the Power Roam 600. And you cannot forget your cable. Here's the XC60 cable. You plug it in like so. And then the other end will go into the solar generator under the lid. And it looks like we're bringing in about 122 watts. It's not the best day, not the sunniest. Weird little thing, I've never seen this on a solar panel. It has this little indicator to tell you when or the best angle for the panel. You see that dot, the shadow? You wanna align the circle inside that dot. So you can see that I adjusted it, it got further. I thought that was pretty neat. So I threw the solar panel on the ground and I was able to get 133 watts in, which isn't bad. We have to talk about Ugreen's smart app. By far, hands down, the best smart app out there for a power station. They allow you to tinker with all of the settings, whether that be your obvious ones, your AC, your DC, your USB, your flashlight, turning all of those on. But then you can go to the settings and there's so many settings in here. They allow you to mess with the screen time. They allow you to operate the brightness of the screen. There's three modes. There's low, medium, and high. Then you have the U-Turbo, you can actually turn that off. You can put standard mode, power saving mode, always on. You can play with the DC current. You can change the amperage on it. There's just so many settings that I really, really appreciate this in a smart app. Ugreen knocked it out of the park with this portable power station. I look forward to seeing what else they come up with in the future. Guys, I hope you liked this video. Hit that like and subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching.